Hello and welcome to Byte Basics. I'm Earl Yeager. Today on Byte Basics, we're going to look at installing software. There are times when you need to add another program to your computer. Maybe uh, something tells you you need Java or Flash, or maybe you're just looking for a different program to do something that you can't currently do. So when it comes time to install a program, a lot of times we just kind of go through the motions. We just kind of click next, next, next through all of the messages that goes through. But there's some unintended consequences sometimes by doing that. So today I'm going to look at downloading and installing a program and t look at it in a little more detail and look through those messages that it pops up as we install to show you that sometimes you just don't want to click next each and every time as you go through. So if you'll go ahead and look with me over here on my computer, we'll go ahead and look at uh, downloading a program. I'm going to go ahead and use Java today as my example. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Java website, java.com, and I'm going to go ahead and download the program. So a lot of times it'll say that there's a you know, free download or whatnot that you're going to do, and I am going to agree and start the download. Now, I happen to be using the Chrome web browser, so it's going to uh, download the installer here. Now, when I open that up, it's going to ask me, do I want to make changes to my program, to my computer? So this is our first option here. If you ever see this pop up and you're not purposefully installing software, then in all likelihood, something else is trying to install something. So if you were not making a choice, to install a program, you'd generally want to say no here. But now at this point, I know I'm actively wanting to install software, so I'm going to go ahead and say yes. So I'll go ahead and click on yes, and the installer will open up here in a moment. It says, welcome to uh, Java. And this welcome message, a lot of programs that you install have some form of a welcome message. They call it a welcome message or a splash screen. Uh, in general, you can read through this to see what kinds of things that they're talking about here. Many times there might be references to a licensing agreement or something of that nature. Uh, most of the time, these first screens, there's nothing to choose, nothing to select. So I'll just go ahead and click on in, uh, Install. Here in a moment, the install process should go a little bit further, and we should see some additional messages show up. So here's one of my the examples of things where you wouldn't necessarily want to just click on Next. So this pops up and says, get the best of the web with Yahoo. If I'm not reading these messages, if I'm just clicking Next, 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 it's going to change some things here. Notice it says Recommended, and it, this is selected. It says, set Yahoo as your home page and default search engine on Chrome and Internet Explorer plus get a custom new tab page on Chrome. Now, these may not be things you want. These may not be changes you want to take place. Uh, many of us with an EPISD have EPISD as our home page. That might not be something we want changed. Uh, likewise, if we're used to using Google as our search engine, we may not want to suddenly be using Yahoo. So because of this, we're going to get extra things added to our computer and settings changed that we may not want changed. So you have to be a little bit more careful as you click through in, when installing a program. So at this point, if I had just clicked Next, I would get those things changed and adjusted. Uh, however, what I'm going to say is do not update browser settings. And then I'll go ahead and click on the word Next. And now it's going to actually begin the installation process. And we can see the progress bar go by. So once that portion is done, in all likelihood, the software will be completed. Sometimes there's a couple of additional messages afterwards. Again, you want to be a little bit of a skeptical uh, person as you go through this. You want to make sure that if there are any follow-up messages, you're not agreeing to install some other software or add a toolbar to your browser. A lot of these things add little add-ons that are, by some people, considered niceties, but by others are considered uh, hassles or, or uh, uh, a problem for your computer. It just bogs down things, adds extra resources that are necessary. So here's my final screen of my installation. It says I will be up, uh, prompted when updates are available. And everything looks like it's done completed. So I'll just go ahead and click on Close. And now Java is installed on my computer uh, with this particular program, there's a verification thing. 
Uh, at this point, I would be able to, to do a verify to determine whether or not it was installed successfully. But uh, Java has indeed been installed at this point. So just to go through that process, again, sometimes when you install software, there's additional little selections that you might make along the way that if you're not paying attention to them, you may be changing settings or adding things to your computer that you don't want. So be a little more skeptical as you click on the next buttons as you go through installing software. This has been Byte Basics, and I hope that helps you out.